Hey everyone, this is Ty. Welcome back to my channel. So the big question is, what's going on with Ty? That's a loaded question, isn't it? I've been in Boston for like three weeks now and I've been kind of struggling. I have uh, social anxiety which I've talked about before. Um, some people might find that hard to believe but I think it's easier to talk in front of a camera than it is you know in front of people and when I get in front of people I'm fine I just it's just getting me to get to that point where I'm in front of people you know, getting me out of my isolated cave. But um, I've been in this particular hotel since Monday and I haven't left. Um, I had a bout of, doubt, bleh, a bout of diverticulitis again on Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday I spent recovering from that. So basically if you miss okay so let's let me tell you what i've been doing so i've been going to this program and it's kind of like an outpatient program um and uh i'm in a hotel because i don't want to drive down here every day five days a week from new hampshire in back in rush hour traffic i i have anxiety about it i just don't want to do it so um i've been in hotels but, uh, so I've missed three days, and so you're basically kicked out of the program. <laughs> but you can always go back. Um, you just have to do a, another intake, and then, you know, they have to re, re, uh, establish your insurance and all this kind of stuff. But anyway, um, this is a really heavy duty cor course, and I don't really know if it's the right fit for me. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be going back. I'm a kind of person that I need to be in a group of people who uh, I can talk to about my problems and have them not be triggered. So there's, there's, there, you can't say certain words, certain things, because it'll trigger people. And I understand people have triggers. I get it. Um, but when you're in a program trying to get help, I think that, you know, it's hard to, you know, hold stuff in you want to talk right and it, it's a good program it's a program called triangle and it's lgbtq friendly so um and so i you know i felt comfortable there but um i just uh you know I, you have to say your name in the morning and actually you're in five different classes a day and you have to say your name and your pronouns and the first week I found myself saying, hi, I'm Ty, and I go by he, him, and then the second week I was he, him, they, but I never liked labeled, labels. I never liked labels. So by the end of the second week, I was like, uh, I'm Ty, and I go by Ty. My labels are Ty. My pronouns are Ty. I am Ty. So um, I wrote a poem about... Uh, in 2015 when I first came out 
and it's about labels and how I hate them. And so I'm going to read it to you. I, I do have it up um, on my channel from 2015, but I think it's worth reading again if you want to stick around and hear it. So here we go. Labels are wrong. Labels are pointless. Labels are wrong. Labels. I hate them. How does a multiracial person in a white society know which box to check? Where is the East Indian box? Does that part of me not exist? I am black. I am white. I am blank. Labels are wrong. Labels are pointless. Labels are wrong. Labels. I hate them. I have to think about labels regarding my gender. Which box do I check? I'm a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Gender fluid, gender masculine, gender female, gender queer. We are not one particular gender. We don't all fit neatly under the proverbial umbrella. Labels are wrong. Labels are pointless. Labels are wrong. Labels. I hate them. I am not male or female. I'm human. I am not black or white. I'm human. I'm not heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, gay, lesbian, or straight. I'm not a this or a that, nor a which, who, or a what. I'm a person. I am Thai, and I'm a human being. Labels. I hate them. Now that being said, Next week is Transgender Awareness Week. I am proud to be transgender, but I don't want to have to label myself as such. I wish we didn't have to label ourselves, but in society, we do. And these are just my feelings, you know. So, celebrate Transgender Awareness Week and um, just you do you um i'm gonna do me and still try to work on you know my anxieties and um, my panic disorder i have ptsd um <laughs> i'm not as put together as you guys think i am but i i uh, try to put on a a happy face um i have to deal with my sexuality um not knowing where that's going really and I have the support of my family uh, Sandy and Ben which is enormous and it's wonderful and thank you so much for being there for me uh, while I go through all this crap but I'm gonna work it out and we're gonna work it out as a family so um, anyway, that's where I've been. I've been in Boston and I've been in a hotel. Yay. <coughs> All right. Uh, what else can I talk about? I don't know. I had top dysphoria, you know? And boy, I wanted those things gone and yeah, you know, and I, and I wanted facial hair and, and I have it. And now my, my, my dysphoria has gone down below and yeah, I have a surgery date of J June 25th again, you know, um, but there's other things going on, you know, that and everything life my chariot is arriving soon i'm gonna kind of miss this place look at the rowing down there you see the rower sort of a gloomy day really not into the ropes hanging there though <laughs> there is a man outside the window I'm on the 14th floor, and I was coming out of the bathroom, walking into the bedroom, 
and there's a man standing there, welding away. <laughs> well, it's been quite the experience, that's for sure. So, let's wait on Sandy. I swear I gotta learn how to travel lighter. <laughs> it's just for me. Yep. Who is it? Your chauffeur has arrived. <laughs> I was calling it my chariot, actually. <laughs> Thank you for bringing this. You're welcome. You sure you have everything? All your cords and plugs and... So, definitely drop a card. Visibility matters. Leave this with the hotel, you know, because we want to know that a transgender person was here and it wasn't the end of the world. Right? Right. I don't like that being upside down. <laughs> Piggy that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. There you go.